back to my channel. So today I'm back with a super exciting video. Today I'm going to be doing a video all about the secrets of YouTube, how you make money on YouTube, kind of like how to grow on YouTube, the algorithm, answering some of your questions about kind of like the business side of YouTube. So I'm gonna be talking about all of that in today's video. All of the things that I feel like people don't typically talk about that I wish somebody would have talked about when I was starting out on YouTube as kind of like getting into YouTube as more of a job. So I started out with my channel in 2012, so I've had my channel for quite a while. It really wasn't until I would say probably the last year or so that it really became a job, like where I was actually earning an income. So when I first started out, I was making some money, like maybe a couple hundred here and there or whatever, just kind of like some bonus extra kind of money. Nothing really substantial to where I could actually live off of it. I've been making like an income and like an actual decent amount way sooner than I did. I just didn't know how and I didn't know the tools and the things I could be doing. That's what I want to talk about in this video. If you are kind of in the position where I was, it really took me a long time to figure out the business side of YouTube. That is what this video is going to be about. I really, really hope it's helpful. Definitely thumbs up if it is helpful. That will help more people see it and help this video get more views, which also helps me and my channel. So definitely do give it a big thumbs up and also comment that helps my engagement, which I'm gonna be talking about on this video. Let's just go ahead and get right into it. Super long list of everything I'm gonna be talking about in this video. Like it is literally so long. I have like different topics. First of all, I know the thing most of you are probably most interested about is the money. So I'm gonna be talking about that. That first I'm gonna talk about the different income streams and how to actually make money on YouTube and talk a little bit about taxes growing your channel so if you're kind of been doing this for a while and you're trying to grow grow your views grow your subscribers like I've learned a lot of tips so I'm gonna share that with you as well as just kind of like the algorithm and things I know about that so I'm gonna talk about some extras like music how I make my thumbnails and kind of some equipment that I have and then lastly I'm gonna answer some of your questions that is everything <laughs> I feel like this video is genuinely gonna be so so long um, so you might want to grab a snack a coffee water something Let's just go ahead and get started okay so first off is income streams first of all before I even get started I do want to say that I'm partnering with magic links on this video if you guys have watched any of my previous videos really and you really actually look at the description you would probably see magic links in the description of like all of my videos because it's how I link all of my products and a lot of my sponsorships are through magic links as well so magic links is actually one of my main sources of income and and I love them. I love working with them. They are just like amazing. So they are a big part of what I do and I'm actually partnering with them on this video. So they are sponsoring this. So thank you so much to Magic Links for partnering with me. If you guys wanna sign up for Magic Links, I do have a link at the top of my description. Like I said, it is one of my number one sources of income. I'm gonna talk a little bit more about it. Let's say there's three main ways that I make money. So first off is AdSense. So you are probably familiar with AdSense if you already have a channel. So AdSense is the ads that play before the video and sometimes even in the middle of the videos and at the end of the video. I believe those advertisers pay Google money and then YouTubers get a little piece. The more views you get, the more ad money you're going to make. There's also other factors, the CPM, which is the cost per mil, which is like a thousand. Certain times of the year, like the holiday season, advertisers are paying more. You could get 10,000 views and maybe make more than if you got 50,000 views because the cost per thousand is actually going to be higher. There's sometimes a year where I'm getting less views but making more on my ads than other times of year where I'm getting way more views but I'm making less because the cost per thousand. There's other factors that play into that like niche. If your videos are really specific, they're gonna pay more because advertisements are really gonna target their specific audience. You can make a video or clothing video, then makeup companies or clothing companies are gonna pay more because they know it's gonna reach their target audience rather than like a vlog or something that's very generic. If you're making really specific videos, your cost per thousand is gonna be higher, so you're gonna make more on AdSense even if you're getting less views. So there's a lot that plays into AdSense, which I'm not gonna cover in this video because there are so many videos on YouTube that go like super in depth on AdSense, but AdSense is basically you get a check every month and it's just adding up all of your views and your CPM. You get views on old videos, so I did a video, it was like an Ikea, room transformation video and it's one of my I think it's my number one 
like most viewed video. And so I still get a lot of ad money each month from that video, in addition to new videos I post. To kind of like give you a range, mine would be like on the lower end, 800 or 900, and then on the upper end, maybe like 2,500. That's AdSense. If you're just starting your channel to get accepted into AdSense and be able to start monetizing your videos, I think you have to have a thousand subscribers or 4,000 hours of watch time in a year. So the next way I make money is affiliate links. So click down in the description. I probably have the sweater link. So if you were watching this video and you're like, oh, I really like her sweater, you could click on the link. If you bought this sweater, I would get a like 10% commission. It might be eight or 12%. I'm not exactly sure what the commission is on this exact sweater. But I make a small commission on links. I usually link things that you see in my videos. So that way if somebody buys it, I can earn a commission and it is a really great source of revenue for me, especially when I'm doing clothing hauls or outfit videos. A lot of times people are clicking my link and buying the products that I'm showing. I link all of my products through Magic Links. It is my favorite way to link my products because it is so easy. So I'll do like a little screen recording of me linking some products. So I basically would just go to Nasty Gal's website, find this sweater, copy and paste the link into Magic Links, and it just creates a little commission link. It tracks it, and I would get commissions. Like, I didn't even realize I could have been doing that for so long. I was just linking regular links. And then I did a sponsorship with Nasty Gal through Magic Links, and I was like, wait, what is all this money like in the corner of my Magic Links account? Like, what is this? And I was like, oh my gosh, that's money I've earned through linking. Like, I. I could be doing this with all these different brands all the time. My viewers are gonna be clicking links through my description anyway, so I might as well be earning a commission. I can link pretty much any item or brand. There are some brands that aren't included, like Brandy Melville, I don't think is included, but pretty much everything else that you can think of is included, like Target, American Eagle. It's also really helpful because say I did a haul and then I'm doing an outfits video and I'm linking a lot of the same things. I can go to my Magic Links account and I can just search like, nasty gal cardigan and it'll just pull up on my magic links account from when i previously linked it and i can just copy and paste rather than trying to go to the nasty gal website and trying to find that same sweater again i can just go to my magic links and it's already saved like under my previous links so it also saves me a lot of time when i'm linking it might not sound like a lot but it really does add up like you would be so surprised especially like i link on instagram as well they have a thing called obsessed with it which is basically like a tool where you can link multiple things within one link which is super helpful for Instagram stories because like if Urban Outfitters is having a 20% off sale I can say swipe up to my favorite Urban Outfitters items and you know you can save 20% today um, and then you know it's like 10 different items with one swipe up link else I really like is that you can see which links so like say I link like 200 things in a month I can see like which are the most like popular and it just ranks all the items in terms of like people clicking on them and how much money you've made from each item so maybe this was like my number one item so that that would tell me that you guys are really loving pastel cardigans maybe I should show some more pastel cardigans on my channel do a spring outfits video with pastel cardigans so it kind of give you gives you some insight as to what your viewers are liking as far as like brands and styles which gives me an idea of what I should include on my channel more magic links doesn't really have any guidelines as far as like you know you have to have this many subscribers or watch time so if you were just starting out this would be a really good way to earn some revenue if you guys want to sign up and join the magic links program like I said there's not really any guidelines as far as followers or anything so definitely click the link at the top of my description if you guys want to join magic links and start earning money through affiliate links and there's also so many gifting opportunities and sponsorships which i'm going to talk a little bit more about as well that's everything for affiliate linking next up for my income streams is sponsorships sponsorships are definitely my number one source of income not all the time but sometimes in one sponsorship i'll make more than i do in a whole month of adsense i really appreciate sponsorships if you're not familiar with sponsorships, basically sponsorships are where a brand will pay you to talk about their product in a video. Um, sometimes it's dedicated, which is where the whole video is about their product. If it's integrated, that is where you just kind of mention it for a couple minutes in the video. Whenever I had 100,000 subscribers and I really started like working with brands regularly, I did not know I could charge for like sponsorships. I did not know like I could really charge for them. Like I was like, oh, that's so cool. Like I'm working with this company and they're sending me free products. And like, this is so fun to get to work with this brand I really love. Like I didn't even think about charging for it. Like I was just like, this is so cool. Like I remember seeing an email Email from it was actually for magic links one of my first paid brand sponsorship 
opportunities and it was for a clothing brand that I really liked. It was actually like the rate was like what I was getting paid at American Eagle, like what I was getting in a whole month of working 40 hours a week at American Eagle. So I was like, oh my gosh, like this is so good. Like I didn't know I could be making money for these sponsorships. Like I just didn't know. And I was like, could I be making money on all of these? And I got more through Magic Links. So Magic Links does a lot of sponsorships with Urban Outfitters through Magic Links, Forever 21, Boohoo, Nasty Gal. A lot of my clothing sponsorships are through Magic Link. The rates are always really good. So I remember seeing that first one and being like, oh my gosh, like I could actually be getting paid like this much for sponsorships. That's when I would, when I started getting other brand opportunities, I was like, I should be charging like this much. So it kind of helped me realize magic links has a lot of really good paid sponsorships as well as like gifting opportunities I struggled with trying to figure out the rates and how much I should charge I ended up signing with a management team that was really helpful because I just didn't know how much to ask for as far as like the rates and I was missing out on a lot of brand opportunities as well because I was just really busy with school Signing with a management team was super super helpful for me personally I signed with table rock they just help so much with sponsorships and doing all of the rates and everything like that so if you're you're in a place where you feel like you have a lot of potential for brand sponsorships but you're just not very good at doing all of that yourself a management team is so helpful some of you guys asked on instagram i remember seeing like how many sponsorships you have to have before you get paid sponsorship like i said i didn't really get paid sponsorships until recently because i just didn't know i could be getting paid but i would say probably 10 to 20,000 subscribers maybe. You probably don't have a decent, like a super decent consistent amount of views until that point. To give you an idea, my sponsorship rates kind of range from like two to 300 up to like a couple thousand or something like that. So it's definitely a range, but I'm not gonna be like, oh, I'm not gonna take a $200 sponsorship for something because like I think of it as like, that's a couple weeks of working 40 hours a week at American Eagle. Like say if you're starting out, don't say no to gifting or lower rates because that's kind of how you grow and that's how you learn and that's how you build relationships with brands. Like it might be a lower rate at first and your relationship with them and then you can kind of work up to a higher rate. So now I'm gonna briefly talk about taxes taxes are not automatically taken out like they would be if you were to like you know work at american eagle or something for example you're responsible for figuring out your taxes and doing all of that yourself basically your taxes are set up like a business like a small business you basically the main tip i can give you would just be to set aside 20 percent of that and put it like in a separate savings account i have a separate savings account like an actual business savings account i put all my taxes into that savings account and then come tax season all of my taxes are already kind of like saved up there are a lot of other things you really have to keep track of every thing that you make keep an excel well actually a google sheets Kind of spreadsheet throughout the year and i have a couple different ones and i just keep them open in my tabs and always like constantly edit them and add to them just kind of kept track of it but you do have to keep a paper trail for all of that kind of stuff so it's hard to get like all really into it right now because it's a lot of stuff basically you just want to keep track of any kind of receipts next up how to grow your channel and like the algorithm and everything like that so i'm going to go through these tips pretty quickly because i feel like this video is so long already so longer videos are better in the sense of like youtube really measures watch time and watch time is a huge factor as far as like what they recommend youtube really wants people to stay on their app as long as possible so if your video is longer it's really going to help people stay on their app posting consistently i feel like doing the same days and the same times is kind of like a good rule but it's not always it's not always something you can stick to like right now it's just not something i can personally stick to you can't post in the same days and the same times at least post consistently in the sense of like two times a week or three times a week i would say one time a week is the minimum not to be like making rules but i would say like you don't want to just post once a month or once every couple months you want to at least be posting one time a week engagement is really big people liking your videos commenting on your videos you commenting back like the most engagement possible is really going to help your video get recommended and also i feel like engaging with your viewers is going to help because you want to build that relationship and you know you want to get to know your viewers and find out like what they like about your videos and what they want to see in future videos. Your viewers are going to want to come back and watch more videos when they feel like they know you and they can like relate to you and all that kind of stuff. Like building that relationship with your viewers is important. Um, I also feel like doing trending videos if you're wanting to kind of grow your views and that sort of thing is good. Adding in like sound effects and music and transitions to kind of keep the video interesting. 
you know this is kind of just like one long sit down video but i'm going to try to add as much as possible like text to kind of break up the different topics any kind of like zooming in or music or anything i can do to make this video more interesting so it's not just me talking for 20 minutes and that will kind of increase your watch time because the video is more entertaining and will make people watch for longer if you're watching right now that's amazing because it's the end of the video and you've stayed for this long and then having like a specific niche if you make videos about something super specific you can get a higher cpm if you have a video about one specific thing and somebody is watching and it's somebody that's really interested in like if you make a video about plants and somebody's watching videos about plants, your video about plants might be more likely to get suggested to people watching videos about plants rather than if you just have a random video that's like a random vlog. Nobody's really searching for random vlogs. Keywords are really big as well. So anytime I do a video, I look up videos similar to that to kind of see what keywords are big for that video. So if I did a morning routine, I'll look up spring morning routine and like, for example, productive, healthy are really key big keywords with spring morning routine when i did a winter morning routine cozy and chill and relaxing were really big keywords with that like realistic vlog style like all of those things are really big keywords with those videos so i kind of look up similar videos to kind of find out what the keywords are and you want to put those keywords in your title and your description and your tags and you want to make your title kind of like jam-packed with as many keywords as possible like this video isn't just like youtube tips it's like YouTube secrets, algorithm, growth, money. Like I'm putting as many keywords into this title as possible. Playlists are really big as well. Like YouTube really loves playlists. Um, it also shows that you're being really active. Thumbnails, thumbnails are key. Kind of like the deciding factor of somebody watching your video or not. So you want it to be attention grabbing and really good. I use PicMonkey for mine. Just some quick little extras. Music, non-copyright music is really tricky. I use thematic for all of my non-copyright music. So my biggest recommendation is don't get any non-copyright music on YouTube. At some point, they will get copyrighted. Like any non-copyright music I've ever used on YouTube, eventually I'll get a notification that it's now copyrighted. But Thematic is like a really good website that really does ensure that the videos are non-copyrighted and they're actually really good songs. So I would definitely recommend using something like Thematic rather than YouTube because nobody is promising that they're actually non-copyrighted. Another thing is just to make your YouTube look uniform, like your picture and your banner and all that stuff, just make it look really uniform. Kind of make your thumbnails look similar and uniform. Really quickly, the equipment I use, I use Final Cut Pro. iMovie is totally good starting out. That's what I used for a really long time, but Final Cut is awesome. I would definitely recommend getting it as a student, like before you graduate, because you can get a student discount and you can get it for $100 less with a whole bundle of apps. I use the Canon G7X camera for vlogging and all my other videos. So I'm gonna go to Instagram and answer Perez's questions. Somebody asked, how do you know if the sponsorship emails are real and not scam, if that makes sense? So like I said, I do a lot of my sponsorships through Magic Links. When I see a company like Magic Links reach out to me on behalf of Urban Outfitters or on behalf of Lululemon, I know it's real because Magic Links is like a trusted site. I don't have to worry about it being scam. Um, but typically if the email is like a lot of spelling errors or has a bunch of emojis, that is kind of like a red flag for me. I usually look at like, I think it's called the domain, like where the email is at. So if it says like somebody's name at Loving Tan or somebody's name at Princess Polly, that is a good sign. But if it's like they're reaching out on behalf of Princess Polly, but the email is like some weird email and it doesn't have Princess Polly in it, that's probably a red flag that it's scam and I wouldn't reply to it. Those are kind of just some things that I look for because they're not going to email you on their personal email. Usually it's really professional looking and they have like some kind of like their brand logo thing at the bottom of the email. So if it doesn't have something like that that looks professional, I would definitely not reply. If they email you like several times, that's kind of also a red flag. Like usually professional companies will maybe email you once and then email you again and be like, hi, just following up on this. But if they email you multiple, multiple times, that's kind of a red flag. This is actually a really good question. I forgot to cover this. Somebody asked if, is it true that any clothes or items shown in a video are tax deductible? It's not entirely true because if I were to buy a bunch of clothes for a haul and maybe I did buy them actually for the haul and I wore them a whole bunch, I can't claim those on my taxes or at least that's what I've been told. I like to be safe and sorry. I can't claim those on my taxes because if they're actually something used and worn, you can't claim them. But if I bought a bunch of stuff like new, 
things for like a Halloween video and I never ever wear them and they still have the tags on them. I could claim those because they really were specifically for that video and they never used and wore them and you clearly see that. I have heard different things, but typically anything that I show in videos, I am planning on using and wearing, so I can't really claim them. How much to charge a company for a sponsorship? If you're getting consistently 10,000 views on every single video, like $800. I would say if you're getting less than a thousand views on average per video, it's gonna be kind of hard to get paid sponsorships. But if you're getting a thousand to 5,000, probably like a couple hundred to maybe even 500 um, and then if you're getting like on average 5,000 views maybe like 500 plus it's really hard to say without knowing like your engagement or your subscribers and I honestly struggle with this a lot myself that would be kind of like a general rule of thumb how long did it take for you to start making money when did brands start approaching you so I kind of mentioned that I didn't really start making like anything more than just like a couple hundred here and there from adsense until recently just because i didn't really know to do affiliate links i didn't really know to charge for sponsorships probably when i hit like fifty thousand, i would get like gifting opportunities of like hey we'll send you this item and like you can talk about it like for free like definitely not anything paid probably until a hundred thousand or above i think that's all the questions i'm going to answer just because i've been filming for so long if you guys have any more questions feel free to reach out to me through instagram dms and i would love to answer your guys's questions or just comment below and I will answer more questions through the comments. But thank you so much for watching and thank you so much to Magic Links for partnering with me on this video. I literally love Magic Links and I highly encourage you guys to sign up through the link in my description so you can start earning money through their affiliate links and also they have so many gifting programs and paid sponsorship opportunities. I actually have some upcoming partnerships and sponsorships and stuff with Magic Links so I love them so, so much. They are just amazing and definitely the best way to link products. It is so easy. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really do hope it was helpful and thumbs up if it was comment below so you can help my engagement um, But thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye